amazing artists. Today, we're gonna to talk about emotions. And we're gonna talk about how emotions can be represented in an artwork. So there's two kinds of things to think about whenever you're thinking about how to show an emotion in an artwork. One, you could think about subject matter. But in addition to subject matter, like obviously if you were trying to create a painting that was very sad, maybe your subject matter would be of somebody who was crying. That's one way. But there's also another way that artists show emotion in their artworks, and that is through color and line. Color can be used to show different emotions. If you see a painting and the entire painting is done in a monochromatic blue color scheme, meaning the entire painting is all blue, what would that make you feel? How would you feel as the viewer of the artwork that is entirely blue? Would you feel happy about what you see? Would you feel sad? Would you feel blue? Let's take a look at some artists' work and think about what emotions they were trying to express in their artworks. So the question we're trying to answer is, what is something an artist might want to express in their artwork? Here's an artwork by Vincent van Gogh titled Sunflowers. If you were looking at just the colors, the yellows, the oranges, the lime greens, how does it make you feel? Go ahead, throw your answer out there. Happy, joyful, excited, I would agree. Here's another one by Joseph Turner called The Slave Ship. This one has dark yellows and oranges, and then it contrasts with dark blacks and grays at the bottom. What kind of motion does this make you feel? Maybe anxious or angry or nervous. Those kind of clashing of colors is kind of abrupt and you're not sure exactly how to feel. Here's one by Pablo Picasso, titled The Tragedy. I might have gave this one away earlier. A painting in all blues. This was from a time in Pablo Picasso's life when he was feeling very blue or sad because of some family issues that were going on in his life. Here's one by Paul Cezanne. This artwork is very vivid. All the colors are bright and saturated. How does that make you feel when the colors are bright and saturated? Maybe joyful or excited or hopeful? Great ideas. And here's the last painting we have to look at by Edvard Munch, The Scream of Nature. It has dark blacks kind of outlining everything, some deep blues and some oranges. How does this one make you feel? I'd agree, kind of scared. Now that you've seen how artists throughout history have used color to create emotion in their artwork, let's see how we can start brainstorming ideas of how to use color in our artwork to express emotions. Some materials you're gonna need today in order to get started is this worksheet titled My Emotions Wheel. And this is going to be kind of like our sketch before we move on to adding emotions to our still life drawing. You're also going to need some colored pencils and you're gonna to wanna to have these vocab words in your toolkit. One is line and you're gonna to wanna to think about all the different types of lines it is that you could use. This will help you add variety whenever you go to color inside your emotions wheel. And you're also going to think about color. You want to have a good handle on all the colors there are and how those colors can be used in different groupings to create different emotions. Today, we are going to start brainstorming some ideas for how to represent the words or emotions on this color wheel using colors and shapes. We are going to be brainstorming on this sheet, for example, the word happy and coloring inside of here some colors and shapes that remind you of the word happy. You then are going to choose three or four of these emotions to color inside of your bottles that you've drawn earlier. Each bottle will represent a different emotion. But first, let's talk about how to start brainstorming. On your emotion color wheel, for example, if you were to color inside the word angry, I want you to think of colors that you think represent angry. What colors would you say represent the word angry? 
If I was to choose, I would say dark colors, like dark reds, maybe um, some fiery oranges, and maybe even black. Whenever you go to color inside here, think about the shape as well that you want to color. If I was to do this, I think I would try and draw out some flame shapes for the word angry. And I might also add in some kind of harsh zigzag line. When I think of angry, I kind of think of these fiery colors and also kind of more pointy shapes like triangles or flames or zigzags. Next, I might think of the word excited. And when I think of excited, I think of some really bright colors. So bright pinks, bright yellows, maybe some bright blues, or even like a limeish kind of green color. Those are the colors that I think of whenever I think of the word excited. What kind of shapes would you think of when you think of excited? Would you think of something that's more circular or more rectangular or more square? What do you think? What shapes? If I were to pick, I would pick circles. And I would also maybe pick some lines that kind of connect the circles. Kind of like there's energy between the circles. Almost like that of an atom. So this necessarily isn't necessarily a shape, but a line that I could use to kind of show that energy that's being created between those circles. Maybe I do some circles in some other colors and connect those with a different color line. Now you might not think of the same thing that I think of when I think of excited as far as the shapes or lines. You can come up with your own ideas. Be original and creative whenever you're trying to think about how to represent these emotions using lines, shapes, and colors. Next, I'm gonna think about happy. When I think about happy, I think of multiple colors. So maybe some of the same colors that I used from excited and angry. I'm gonna include a whole rainbow of colors. When I think of happy, I think of kind of curved shapes. So maybe I'm going to go through here and draw some lines that have curved shapes on them. I hope you have so much fun creating your emotions color wheel. Whenever you're finished, be sure to take a picture of your work and attach it to the Google Classroom assignment titled My Emotions Wheel. I hope you have so much fun creating and I can't wait to see what you create.